are the witness. Uh, Madam Witness, please raise your hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this impeachment proceeding? So help you, God. <clears throat> may, may we request, Your Honor, that uh, Attorney jo Joel Budigon of the Defense Panel be recognized and allowed to conduct the direct examination of the witness. Attorney Joel Budigon has the floor. Thank you, Your Honor. Proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, we uh, uh, present this witness to, uh, for the purpose of, uh, well, she will testify, Your Honor, on her uh, employment with the Senate Electoral Tribunal, the composition and function of the tribunal, the membership of uh, respondent uh, Chief Justice Renato Corona in the tribunal, and the allowances and paradigms that he received during the period that he was a member of the tribunal. I think the composition of the electoral tribunal being a, a part of, of this uh, Senate is within its judicial notice. So uh, just uh, establish the uh, membership of the uh, chief justice in that tribunal. Yes, Your Honor. Proceed. Um. Ms. Guevara, can you uh, kindly uh, state your name in other per personal circumstances? I'm attorney Irene R. Guevara of legal age and a resident of Angon Rizal. I am presently employed with the Senate Electoral Tribunal as secretary of the tribunal. Thank you. Um, may I, uh, with the permission of the Honorable Court? Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, you stated that you're a, uh, an attorney. Uh, when did you become a lawyer? In 1981. From what school did you obtain your uh, From the degree? Ateneo de Manila University. And when did you pass the bar? I took the 1981 bar examinations. And? Uh, and passed it. And you passed it? <laughs> yes. Uh, did you place in the top 10? Uh, luckily, I did. I was number one in the 1981 bar examinations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> After you uh, topped the bar, uh, examination in 1981, uh, what employment did you uh, obtain? I, uh, I work as a, st a staff member of the office of uh, then Associate Justice Venetio Escolin, who was then my professor, who was my professor at the Ateneo. And after the 1986 revolution, um, I was uh, taken in by Chief Justice Naa, no? Then Associate Justice Marcelo B. Fernand, and uh, I continued in his office when he became Chief Justice. And after he ran for uh, the Vice Presidency, I transferred to the office of Chief Justice Andres Narvasa. And after that, uh, I was appointed Deputy Assistant, uh, Assistant Chief Attorney of the Supreme Court until I transferred to the Sent Electoral Tribunal in 1995. And um, you're having transferred to the uh, Senate Electoral Tribunal uh, has been uh, continuously until the present? Yes, yes, Your Honor. And uh, what is your present uh, position with the tribunal? I am the secretary of the tribunal. Uh, since uh, when have you been secretary of the tribunal? Since September 19, 1995. Until the present? Until the present time. As a... Uh, Secretary of the Tribunal, would you kindly uh, inform the Honorable Court what your duties are? As Secretary of the Tribunal, I am the head of the Secretariat. I oversee the day-to-day -day operation of the different services in the Secretariat. I also uh, well exercise general supervision over the services, uh, service uh, the offices, and uh, I keep uh, records of the proceedings of the Tribunal. Uh, I function as a, my functions are ac ac uh, akin to the clerk of court of a regular court of justice because you are a quasi-judicial office. Thank you. Now in the course of, uh, of the performance of your duties as uh, Secretary of the Tribunal, did you come to know the respondent, uh, Chief Justice Renato C. Corona? 
Yes, Your Honor, uh, he became member of the Silent Electoral Tribunal, and he was also my professor in the Ateneo Law School. How was he as a professor of law? Is that relevant? <laughs> if you care to answer. I rather not, if I will be excused. <laughs> Anyway, thank you. Uh, you were. Uh, so By the please. way, uh, what uh, courses did you take under the chief justice? Only one subject. This is the this is private international law. Oh. In the Confli fourth year. Conflicts of law. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Senator, Senator President. Okay. Um, uh, would you kindly inform the honorable court uh, the allowances and paradigms that uh, the members of the uh, tribunal receive? Yes. As a member of the tribunal, uh, one receives a monthly, may I just read from my, I actually wrote it down because you know these are figures as, and as lawyers would say, we're not really good at figures. So the, they have a monthly expense allowance or a per dime in the amount of 20,000 per month, extraordinary and miscellaneous expense in the amount of 19,000 166 pesos and 67 centavos a month, and additional allowable expenses of 82,000 per month, or a total of 121,166 pesos and 67 centavos monthly. Per member of the tribunal? Yes, Your Honor. How many members are there? There are nine members. Six senators and three justices, three justices. of the Supreme Court. Uh, you mentioned, uh, may I continue, Your Honor? Yes, please. Uh, you mentioned that uh, Chief Justice, uh, the, re the respondent, Chief Justice Renato C. Corona became part of the tribunal. Yes. What sir, position did he, or positions did he occupy? He was a designated member of the tribunal. Uh, during what uh, period was this? This was uh, from September, I know, I'm sorry, from February 28, 2008, to April 30, April 30, 2009. How long was that? About a uh, period of 14 months. 14 months. Okay. And during that period, how much uh, allowances uh, and paradigms did he receive? In the 14 months, the Chief Justice was member of the tribunal. He received a total uh, allowance amount of 1,696,333 pesos and 38 centavos. Now, uh, you were subpoenaed uh, by the Honorable Court to bring with you a document evidencing the uh, allowances, paradigms, and the reimbursements uh, that the respondent, uh, Chief Justice Renato C. Corona, received from the tribunal during the period of his uh, being part of it. Uh, do you have that uh, document with you? I have a certification issued uh, by, by the office dated January 5, 2012. This was signed by me. Yes. Uh, if you're honor, please, we tried to have this pre-marked uh, this afternoon. Um, unfortunately, there was no one from the uh, clerk of court to uh, mark allow us to mark it now. Uh, remark. Now, anyway. Um, So we request that the uh, certification produced by the witness be marked as our exhibit 166, Your Honor. Mark it accordingly. Uh, in what capacity was... Uh, uh, I signed the certification as the secretary of the tribunal. Uh, this was uh, based on the records kept by the accounting service. Uh, accomplished in the ordinary course of business of the tribunal. Okay, I uh, invite your attention. Uh, can you show her the, what, the document? Uh, may I invite your attention to the signature above the uh, typewritten name, Attorney Irene R. Guevara. Whose signature is that? This is my signature, sir. Incidentally, uh, what positions did uh, the respondent, uh, Chief Justice Renato C. Corona, occupy with the tribunal? 
At that time, he was uh, the third me justice member of the tribunal. Was he ever a uh, chairman of the tribunal? No, he, he did not become chairman of the tribunal, of the Senate Electoral Tribunal. He became chairman, what I know is he became chairman of the HREP, the House of Representatives Electoral Tribunal. Thank you. Uh, that would be all with the witness, Your Honor. All right, cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, may we have the document? Uh, with the permission of the Honorable Court. Who said? Attorney Kivara, your, certifica your certification states that uh, Chief Justice Corona received the amount of 280,000 pesos for the period March 2008 to April 2009. Yes. Is this correct or should this be 280,000 pesos? 280,000 pesos. 280,000 pesos. Yes. Um, for the 20,000 pesos a month. Monthly expense allowance, okay. hush lush per dime. So you early te earlier testified that there were there were three components of the the funds or the the allowances and fees which Chief Justice Corona received. The first was monthly expense. Yes, uh, that's correct. Is this is this an allowance or is this part of uh, his income? This is considered an allowance, expense okay. allowance. So it has to be uh, liquidated? On, we, I think it is, we, we have the same uh, procedure adopted by the Supreme Court as uh, earlier explained by. Which is, uh, which the, is the you have to have a certification. Certification in the okay. payroll. If I may, if I may read it. Yes. Uh, Actually, it's just an acknowledgement of the receipt of the sum, opposite our names as monthly expense allowance in the, uh, incurred in the performance of our duties as members of the Senate Electoral Tribunal for the month of... May I see that document, please? Yes. It is uh, unsigned. Bakamawala. <laughs> For the record, witness handed to counsel a one-page document, which is unsigned, which appears to be just a sample. Yes, a sample of the payroll. But this is this is actually the payroll for the month of March, two thousand eight, as a sample. So, so according to this uh, certification, the expense was used; it was incurred in the performance of their duties as a member of the yes. SEP, is that yes, correct? that's right. So that's it's not right. really income, it was used by them when they performed their functions, is that correct? We did not consider them income as we did not include, we did not withhold, as in fact we did not hold, withheld, withhold taxes from it. Fair enough. The second item is the EME. Uh, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous expenses. What, yes. what, what does the first E stand for again? Extraordinary and yes. miscellaneous expenses. And is it the same treatment as the monthly expense? Yes, uh, the, there is also a certification in the payroll that states this is to certify that expenditures to be reimbursed without the need of presenting receipts for purposes within the contemplation of Section 25 and other related sections of Republic Act Number 9401 or similar procedures, provisions of the General Appropriations Act are necessary, lawful, and correct, and were incurred by reason of and or in the furtherance of the performance of the functions and duties of my position as chairman or member of the Senate Electoral Tribunal. May I see that document, please? Uh, which we, uh, may we request, Your Honor, that the two documents now presented by the witness be respectively marked as our Exhibit 167 and 168. For the mark them and so uh, as with the first item this is also an expense it's not part of his income correct yes sir. 
Okay. And the last entry is what you term as the additional allowance? This is the additional allowable expense. Again, we have the certification. This is to certify that the additional allowable expenses being received herein are necessary, lawful, and correct, and incurred by reason of or and or in the furtherance of the performance of the, and of the function and duties of my position as chairman or member of the Senate Electoral Tribunal. May I see that document again, please? Uh, we request, Your Honor, that the uh, last document uh, uh, read by the witness be marked as Exhibit 169. Mark it accordingly. Your, Your Honor, for the prosecution, we are also requesting that the last three documents presented by the witness be marked as our exhibits uh, the couple P, Q, and R. 10 P, Q, and R, Your Honor. Mark them accordingly. Thank you. So, Attorney Guevara, again, this is not part of his income, is that correct? It's an so expense. So, far as the set is concerned, these are, uh, at least the two items are reimbursements for expenses. He, uh, the, chair, the chairman or the member, should have uh, expanded for their of for his office in relation to, in his, relation duties to his duties as, as a member, as of, a the, member of the church. So yeah. in other words, he can't use these expenses or these allowances for his personal use. Is that correct? Well, under the law, that should be the case. We have nothing further, Your Honor. No, no more questions from the gross? No more questions, Your Honor. About uh, redirect? No redirect, Your Honor. All right. Mr. President. Yes. Uh, may, we recognize Senator, may we recognize Senator Pimentel? Uh, the gentleman from Misamis Oriental. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, alam niyo po, I spent uh, four years of my life uh, appearing before the SAT. Uh, so I have uh, personal knowledge of the professionalism oh, of Attorney you. Guevara. So, gusto ko lang pong magpasalamat sa inyo publicly, no, na salamat po sa inyong professionalism na pinakita niyo po sa mga litigants before the tribunal. At uh, very objective po si Attorney Guevara, at marunong makipaglaban sa katotohanan. Kaya pwede po, pwede natin gawin siyang model actually when we decide this particular impeachment case before us. So, salamat po Attorney Guevara for the professionalism much. you which you displayed when you handled my case. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, anyone else? One last, uh, Mr. President, Senator Recto. Gentleman oh. from Batangas. Uh -huh. Senator Recto. Yung nabanggit niyong allowances, are they under the PS column or MOOE column? The per dime, uh, the monthly expense allowance per dime is under the PS. Magkano because we have a budget Magkano for that. 20,000 a month po. So that means PS for your compensation for the work that you do. Opo. Pwede and the others are home yun. Pwede mong itake home yun, PS yun eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the others are MOE. MOE po. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mong gastusin. Yes. Para maliwanag. Opo. Thank you. Okay. Majority floor leader. Yeah, we may discharge the witness, Mr. President. Uh, the... Because distinguished uh, lady witness is discharged. Thank you very much, sir. Because, uh, Mr. President, if the prosecution counsel or the defense counsel would ask one more question about the allowances of members of the Senate, <laughs> I will be constrained to cite them for contempt. <laughs> no more questions. Another witness? Uh, yes, Your Honor, may we call on Attorney Gurley 